yesterday we had our fourth annual toothpick bridge competition at Mastery Charter High School Lenfest campus in Philadelphia. It was a, a huge success and this uh, little video is designed to show you some of the highlights and also give you a link to all of the photos. Our champions this year were ninth graders Bianca Ball and Yao Jarko. Here's a really good close-up of their bridge. There's their bridge being tested. You can see that their bridge was uh, designed as an isosceles trapezoid. And uh, you know, based on the bridge, as I felt it before the, uh, before the test even occurred, I knew that it was going to do really well. It was built particularly uh, well in terms of uh, being symmetrical and uh, it was just very, uh, very efficient. A couple more pictures here. And they did a great job. They ended up holding about 61 pounds, I believe. And that led to an efficiency rating of just over 383. And uh, Pretty impressive since the bridge itself only weighed 0.16 pounds. It spanned a width of 11.25 inches and it led them to the championship. You can see a picture of them right there holding their medals and their trophies. Congratulations to those two. Our second place player was Simone Fleming, 10th grader. Her bridge was another isosceles trapezoid, much different shape though. It spanned a width of 15 inches, it held about 39 pounds, and it only weighed 0.12 pounds for an efficiency rating of 324. That efficiency rating is basically is just the ratio of how much a bridge can hold divided by how much the bridge weighs. And Simone was in first place throughout pretty much the entire evening, and then was, was knocked off the podium uh, for the first place by Yao and Bianca. So great job to you, Simone. In third place was ninth grader Brianna Smith, and her her design was a triangle. And the triangle's isosceles. It's pretty darn close to equilateral. I'm not exactly sure that all the angles are precisely 60, but it's pretty darn close anyway. Uh, it spanned a width of 12 inches. Uh, was a little bit heavier than the other two was 0.3 pounds, but it held 94 pounds. 94 pounds was the most that any bridge held all night. And her efficiency rating was 313.53. She did a really great job. We had two coaches awards this year. Went to two Lenfest students who built their bridges by themselves. Kayla Thomas, pictured here. Isosceles Trapezoid, she came in fourth place overall. Really fantastic job by Kayla and Tiana Thomas, also building alone. She came in, uh, I can't remember what place, but her bridge did really well. Held 51 pounds, and I was really proud of her. We also gave out awards for the coolest looking bridge this year, which went to uh, two students from our Shoemaker campus, Akil and Yasmin. Uh, they built one of the coolest bridges I've ever seen in the four years I've been doing this, and it also performed quite well. It was a very light bridge, 0 .09, that held 16 pounds. So great job to you, uh, Akil and Yasmin. And that wraps it up. <clears throat> At the end of this uh, little PowerPoint, I'm going to put in the four videos that I got from uh, some of our other teachers who were who were recording videos. So I'll put those right at the end of this this little section and in the description I'll also link to the photo bucket page that contains all 300 pictures from last night so again congratulations to all of our competitors and I will see you next year
them. Six hundred. Six hundred efficiency rate. Right yeah. Last year was six sixty. Who was that? Who was that last year? Taylor Slocum and Isaiah Baptiste. Do you think uh there might be one or two that's up there for sure. Put it on your fridge. In your fridge. Oh! How dare you. Alright, here we go. Not right now.
Yeah. <laughs> 